half past 10, 25 to 6, 4 a.m. What time is it? It's time to learn English. Hi everyone, I'm Scott from That's English School. Today, we're going to learn how to tell the time in English. There are three parts to today's video. Part one is analog clocks. Part two is digital clocks. And part three is useful phrases. Okay, let's get started. Imagine the clock is divided into two parts. The first part, past. The other part, to. Past and to. Now, there is another expression you could use. Instead of past, you could say after. And instead of to, you could say till. But today, to keep things simple, we're going to use the words past and to. Now, it's probably better to explain this using an actual clock. Oh, wow, it's magic. Now, remember, the clock is divided into two parts, past and to. Okay, so the big hand is on the 12, so this is four o'clock. Five past four. Ten past four. Quarter past four. Twenty past four. Twenty-five past four. Half past four. Okay, now this is the turning point when we get to here. Two. Okay. Twenty-five to five. Twenty to five. Quarter to five. Ten to five. Five to five. And finally, five o'clock. This rule of past and to is only for numbers which end in a five or zero. Let's call it the five zero rule, okay? As you can see, these numbers here end in a five and a zero. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and so on. It keeps things simple. If you have a time like 3, 12, in this case, we cannot say 12 past 3 because it doesn't end at a 5 or a 0. In this case, we use the digital time, 3, 12. Okay, now, just to get it clear in your mind, let's review the clock again. Okay, so we start off with past and two. O'clock, five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, half past, you know, it changes, 25 to, 22, quarter to, 10 to, 5 to, and back to o'clock. Telling the time using the digital clock is probably the most standard way to tell the time. And it's the most simple. Okay, now here we have 829, 413, 
and 2, 56. If there is a zero in the number, we don't say zero, we say O. Oh. So in this example here, we wouldn't say 706 or 76. The best way to say is 706. 706. The 24 hour clock. Now, this is usually used in a business situation or a very formal way of speaking. I've noticed in Japan a lot of people use the 24 hour clock when speaking in a casual conversation. However, in English it's not used so much in that way. In English, I would recommend using AM or PM. Now, remember, when you're using AM and PM, it always goes at the end. So we would say 6.30 AM or 6.30 PM. We would never say AM 6.30 or PM 6.30. So be careful about the order. Another way to express AM or PM is by actually saying the time of the day. So we could say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Pay attention to the use of in and the and at. Especially at because at is only used for nighttime. So we could say 5 in the morning, 1.30 in the afternoon, 7.15 in the evening, and 10 at night. When talking about 12 a.m. or 12 p.m., it can sometimes be a little bit confusing. So in that case, if you're saying 12 p.m., you can say 12 noon or just noon. If you're talking about 12 a.m., it is 12 midnight or just midnight. Okay, let's do a few useful phrases about time. What time is it? Do you have the time? Do you have time? Now we have to be careful here because the meaning is very different. Just by adding the, it can mean another thing altogether. Be careful. The use of the preposition at is really common when we're talking about time. I'm leaving work at quarter to seven. The movie starts at one. I always get up at 10 past 5. Let's talk about approximate times. It's nearly 7. It's almost 7. We'll arrive at about 7. It's just after 5. It's just leaving 5. It's just gone five. Let's talk about very precise times. Steve came at eight o'clock on the dot. It's exactly 10 past five. It's just turned three o'clock. Remember in most cases, digital time is enough to get by. So don't worry about it. However, if you want to give your English a little more depth and variety, try and use some of the phrases we learned today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. We have a video, oh, we have a video, no. Ah,